Um, so I just gave you a really great example of a positive moment of truth. So some n a negative moments of truth that I had experienced um, while I was in the industry. Uh, I had met my husband while we w both worked at the Hyatt Regency. My husband's a chef. We had decided when we were working at the Hyatt that we were going to go to Boston. And we actually stayed at the Cambridge Hyatt Regency. A um, little perk that you get working for Hyatt. We decided to have a nice dinner actually at the hotel in their fine dining restaurant. And it was pretty cool because the fine dining restaurant was in the top of the uh, hotel on the very top floor. And you had a beautiful view of Cambridge from this area. So we went out for dinner and we were both dressed for dinner. Um, nobody knew who we were. Nobody knew I was the restaurant manager at our Hyatt and my husband was the sous chef at the restaurant and for banquets. So we went in, we sat down. The server was pretty nice, um, not too personable. He did his job and that was it. We d didn't get any excitement from him or anything. He was just pretty monotone. So that kind of set us kind of like, well, it's kind of crappy that he's not exciting or he didn't smile too much either. So my husband and I both ordered, for the life of me, I can't remember what he ordered, but I went ahead and ordered a filet. Um, I usually get my filets rare to medium rare. I was pretty excited. Our salads came out, they were okay. They weren't anything exciting, nothing really to talk about, but it was a salad to say the least. Um, then our entrees came out and I looked at my filet and it looked good. It was great grill marks on it, looked like it was going to be a great filet. So I go ahead and cut into it to make sure that it's cooked to my liking. And instead of it having a warm pink or cool pink center, it had a nice green center. It's because the filet was rotten. So I don't get too excited. It happens. I'm not a person who's going to start screaming and yelling or walk out. So when the server came back to check on us, which was kind of slow because Hyatt has standards that every single restaurant within Hyatt must follow. I know those standard standards because I was the restaurant manager. Um, it's a two minute standard. So after I received my food, the restaurant server should have come up to the table to see if everything was to my liking. Well, about 10 minutes later, he came to check on us. So not only am I sitting there with a rotten filet, now it's a cold rotten filet, and I'm not a happy girl. We explained to the server what had happened, that it was rotten, and he really didn't care too much. Um, so at this point, he had taken the plate away. So finally we had to ask for the manager because the filet wasn't coming back to me in any shortness of time. It was like they restarted the whole ticket. Um, so we had asked for the manager. The manager came over and he was kind of laissez-faire about everything and whatever. So finally we had to pull the card. We had to pull that we are Hyatt employees from Pittsburgh. Now the cool thing was at that point in time our Hyatt was one of the top five Hyatts in the United States. And this was well known because you have to discuss these things at the team meetings. So I finally pulled the card and I normally don't do that and told them that I was the restaurant manager and that my husband was the sous chef. Wow, what a turn in events. All of a sudden we had a fresh filet, we had wine comp to our table, the meal was comped, we had desserts. It was like we were a king and queen, but that's not the point. Every single guest who walks into that restaurant should be treated that way. I should not be treated any differently than any other person in that place. So as a moment of truth, they did redeem themselves, but it was after we told them who we were and that we were employees of Hyatt. It was an unfortunate situation, but a great example of bad moments of truth that I get to use in my class.